It's vacation time. Time for you to pack your bags and head off to a relaxing destination where you can just chill and forget all about the worries of the last few months. But in order to have that relaxing time away, you need to make sure that all is in order back home. You need to make sure that you've looked after the what ifs that could conceivably happen while you're away. So stay tuned and we'll point out these things that need to be done to protect your home. Hi, this is Bruce from Homes and Life here again to help you learn more about topics that affect your life, like real estate, RVs, outdoor activities, and more. Welcome to you new subscribers and thanks to you existing subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate if you just click the subscribe and thumbs up buttons down below. One of the first things to consider in your absence from your home is your home insurance. Are you insured if no one is living in the house for a period of time? It's definitely worth asking the insurance company about. They may be fine with you leaving for a few days, but on a longer trip, they may want the house to be checked every few days. A friend or a security company could do this for you. Now, what's one of the worst things that can happen in your house while you're away? I think that you will agree that a water flood in your house due to a burst water line would be catastrophic. Just think of the damage that would be done. So, in order to remove the chances of water damage, the first step is to shut off the house water at the area where it enters the house. There's usually a tap or a valve that can be shut off, and this shuts the water supply off to all of the house. And while you're addressing potential water problems, it's a good idea to turn your water heater to vacation mode on the dial or possibly off if you're familiar with how to restart the water heater. And if you have a recirculating pump in your water system, good idea just to unplug it. Probably the next most serious what if situation while you're away is burglary. Place your smaller valuables in a safe or a hidden location so that someone looking through the windows won't get inspired to break in. In order to make it more difficult for impulse shoppers, make sure your windows are closed and are locked. If you do have a security system, make sure the alarm's activated and that whoever is checking in on your home has the password and the code. There's also some pretty amazing security systems available right now that you can control with an app on your phone and motion detection lights are another good idea. Some are just lights that come on when they detect motion and others have cameras built in as well. You could also ask your neighbor to park a vehicle in your driveway to make the house look occupied. And of course, the old standby is to have timers on one or more lights so that the lights turn off and on again, giving the impression that someone is home. One more giveaway for a house that's not occupied for a while is the landscaping. So hire someone to water and maintain the landscaping. And an overflowing mailbox is a sure sign that the occupant of a home is not around. So ask the post office to hold your mail, possibly pause membership and subscriptions that come on a regular basis. Now, social media can be an enjoyable pastime. But don't advertise the fact that you are away from your home. Airport photos and destination photos are fun to share, but wait until you have returned to share them. Anytime that you announce you're enjoying your vacation, you're signaling that your house is empty. Here are a few other tips to ease any worries while away. Try watering your plants before you go and ask whoever is checking the house to check the plants as well, water if needed. Clean the house before you go. 
It helps you to relax knowing that you don't have to be busy cleaning as soon as you return from your vacation. And remember to empty the trash before you go. It can cause a bad smell that you really won't appreciate when you return. Along the same line, empty your fridge of perishable goods that could spoil and also cause odors. Another old trick is to put an open box of baking soda in the fridge to help keep it smelling fresh. And turn the heat down and the air conditioning to a higher temperature. There's no use wasting energy or overworking your system when it's not required. And if you have golf carts or other items that have large batteries that could possibly run down, look at getting a battery minder which will keep the charge up on those. One more simple thing that you can do is to unplug appliances that you're not sure of. For example, kettles or coffee machines or curling irons. It just eliminates a few potential problems. Well, hopefully these ideas will help you to have a relaxing, stress-free time away, not worrying about how things are back home. And if you found these ideas helpful, please click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when a new video comes out. Meanwhile, remember, life is an adventure. And I'll talk to you again soon.